All right, obviously, take all this rubber off that's on there normally. Lift that up. I've already removed this. You've got a 10 mil there, a 10 mil there, a 10 mil there, 10 mil there. What you've got to be careful is, because I've already done it, I'll just chuck this back on before. You've got this for your washer jet. You tug on that and that'll come out, which goes, uh, where is it? There. So that's quite easy. And as you can see, there's a slow cinder there. It looks like it's been leaking, but it's not. It's because I've had it off already, that bit. So all right, what you've got to do is got to go inside and take the two um, nuts off and then that should come out behind there. So what we've got to do is got to undo these under there, pull this cover off so then we can see behind. Thirteen mil, the two nuts that we've got to undo, and then we'll uh, undo them, and then what we do is we'll go to the other side and uh, go from the under the bonnet and undo the rest of it. Right, that was just undone. And I've got one right at the back. We yeah, don't like small spaces, and you won't like doing this. So basically, there's a there's a spring. Up there, that needs to be pinged off, yeah. And then you've got that rod that goes through to hold, which is that. So you poke that through, it goes that way around. The spring was around here, so you couldn't get past it. And basically, that is your um, spit pin, and that connects to that. And then that. Up. Hold it all together. This thing you need to do is get a flathead screwdriver. And basically go under here, like that. And then lift that tab up. Doesn't matter if it pings off, it only goes on the floor. And then what we can do is we can pull this completely out. You need two hands. So let me just rush you there for a minute. It actually lets me. You need to move one hand. Oh, hang on. And obviously all you've got to do is disconnect this pipe here. Which is quite easy, just literally pull it. But what's going to happen now is you might lose a load of brake fluid so you want to quickly cap that off I'll tell you what actually if I pull that one off the bottom there and then cap the top of that that'd be easy because this is not going to get used anyway I'll do that now and there you go guys that's disconnected from there that's disconnected so now it should literally just pull it out just like that. There you go, sit there. So here it is. It looks like it's not original because it says FTE, which obviously that should be GM. So, that's your part number if you need it next time, guys. It says GM there, actually, so it might be. I don't know what FTE is.
Oh, anyway, I'll wait for the other ones to happen, we'll chuck that in, and then fingers crossed it'll be all sorted.